Hello, pumpkin people. Okay, it is two days before go time, and right now we are using a test seed this year. We want to make sure that everything is working properly with our light setup, with how we are actually going to be germinating them. If there's any issues with these seeds, hopefully we can catch it and maybe make the change before our actual ones go. So alongside with our actual seeds, we're going to be having two-day-old germinations. And these are going to be used to make sure everything works properly. So as you can see, it's going into the water solution here. We'll soak it for a few hours and then we will put it into our germination chamber for two days, just as we'll do with the regular seeds. Okay, Cade, what are we doing? We are checking out our test seeds. So it's been exactly how long? Two days. Let's see them. What? Grab them out of the thing. Oh. Cade's going to open them up. Okay. There they are. All right, show us one. We've got a big old root coming out of her. Yep, and then we got our seed starting mix right here. So how do we put them in? Do you know? A little hole. A little moist already. Okay. All right, there we go. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Nope. Put her back in the thing, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, put her back in the chamber. Okay, see you guys. See ya. Okay, and now we're back into the greenhouse. We are getting our drip lines installed. This is our header line. It runs the full length of the greenhouse. You can see here the end is capped. We try to get right up next to the side. And then, of course, in order to get this installed, what we like to do is just till an area. And you can see the soil, what it looks like right now. It is a bit dry, but that's how we like it. And then after this, we'll get it watered in, and it'll look really nice. And now, this, here's the biggest pain in the butt, putting in the freaking lines. So we measure them all out, we lay them all down, we cut them all. I do about eight or ten on that time otherwise they'll get tangled up and then here's just a look of some of the stuff that we have going on now you can see we're starting to lay them out we till right in front of it we try to keep it as level as possible yeah I walk on the soil here it is what it is and there's all the lines starting to get laid out looking much better I'm liking it I'm liking what's happening right now and here you can see we're getting halfway through and you can see the middle part we have heating cables underneath all the stuff off to your left here yep here's a good look at it all of that has heating cables underneath there it's a big area it's drier that's why it's because it's been heating so we're going to try to get this watered in here soon but that's the area we don't want to touch and there you go we are done <laughs> it looks so good I'm so glad to be done with this. What a pain in the butt every year this is, but it sure is nice having these cables done. Now it's time to get some water flowing. So we're gonna crank up the tanks and whew, we gotta test it before we put down our plastic because if you ain't testing, you could be blowing something and then it's a real pain in the butt. So looking here, like everything has water flowing through its veins. That's what we want and that's what we like. Oh, but we ain't done yet. Now it's time for the weed barrier. It's nice and white. Keeps it a lot cooler in here. It also helps to keep the weeds down. But the main thing is keeps the pumpkin vines off of the soil. And we got problems with heat, humidity, all that good jazz. So time to put the, the weed barrier down. You can see we're going through it nice and quickly. And out front, I'd always try to even out the lines as we go so it kind of messes with it a little bit as you're putting it down but you can you can straighten it up pretty well from here so and then everything else looks like it's getting watered in nice i try not to walk on my uh, soil as much as possible oh there's a kid walking on the soil phoebe <laughs> what you doing girl cutting the tarp cutting the yeah the weed barrier yeah so how tell us about us. How do we do this? What are we doing here? You pull it close to you, and you roll it, and it covers 
all the weeds so you don't have any weeds. And uh -huh. then you just cut off the extra. But I'm not seeing any water. How the heck do you water in here? Uh, we got these big tanks out there, two of them. Uh huh. But it's not in here. It's nothing. You can't see anything, girl. We got this uh, thing. Yeah. And those little black things. Oh. Uh -huh. Underneath. And it goes underneath. All right. Makes a nice clean look, huh? Yep. Okay. You better get back to work. Yep. Hey, having a kid surely helps out. Doing this by myself is a pain in the butt. These kids can crawl around. They love it. Nice handy helpers here. Now, oh, don't walk on the soil. Don't walk on. Don't. Don't. Ah, kid, get off the soil. Okay, whatever. We're almost done. Thank goodness. Wait a minute. No, go ahead. Huh? Show us how you're doing it. Then let it. Let it show. Oh. Do. Let's see it. Yeah, looking pretty good. Yep. Okay. Hey, Kate, what are we doing? The seeds just finished soaking, and now we're going to be putting them in their little baggies. There you go. And then you take that and put it where? Uh, in the germination box. There we go. How long before we check it? Two days. Exactly, two days. Yep. That's... About what? <laughs> Open up the seeds. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, which one is this? This is the world record. You're starting with the world record? Oh, now you're making me really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Okay. Starting with the Rodin Ball. Okay, let's see it. Okay. Ooh, ooh, careful, careful. Just open it up, take it out. <laughs> There's something in there. Trust me. Unwrap it. <laughs> Don't drop it. Oh, it oh, yeah, that's why you have to be careful. You see that? <laughs> big old root. Oh, you start to get like almost too big. Perfect. All right, there's that one. Next. This one nice root on the rotom ball. Okay. Put it okay. Just sit on the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going with ours. You nervous now? Is this Barbie? Yeah. Is this your favorite? Yep. What about the world record? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Here's Barbie. This is the one that you want to grow this year, right? We have yes. to grow Barbie. Oh, That's one of them good. didn't germinate. Look at that. That's why you do three. Two of them germinated. One will have to leave in there. That's going to have to be our backup. Okay. And what's it? Unless we germinate again and then it sprouts out more than all those other ones. Yeah, we'll use it as a backup. If it, hopefully it'll germinate, but it might not. Okay, now we're going on to world record. Should have been me. <laughs> Should have been Barbie. Yes. <laughs> Got a root? Nope, nothing. Nothing. See, told you. No oh, good. No. No what nothing on the world Looks record. Like we'll have to do Barbie. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately the world record didn't germinate. That happens. We have a few and 
you know, it just happens from time to time. Here we go. We are two days in. These plants have been in the germination chamber for two days. We are going. We're going with Barbie. And we're going with the 2144.5 Doc Roden ball plant. Yeah, they're looking good. Oh, and there's our test plant off to the right. Man, good luck, everybody. Grow yourself a monster. It's go time in Kansas, baby.